Dum tan tan ding du pam pam tan ta na na na. Welcome to the Fear and Hunger demo version 2.4. We have been getting a lot of information about the upcoming update for Termina. New zones, balancing, backstories, new enemies, new boss music, backstories, Caligula screen time, another difficulty, backstories, backstories, backstory. But it will still require some time, and because of that, I I think in the meantime it could be a funny idea to play the demo of Termina in preparation for all of that, to be able to see how far we have gotten from this moment. And I already see some differences from this screen right here, maybe it was just supposed to be a sketch, sort of, of the current one. Like, you know, Ragnavaldor image in the first game first was like this, so it's not that different. Also, there is no Kaiser in the road for some reason. But I guess it's enough time chatting, let's start with the new game of Fear and Hunger Termina! Bones. That intro music is way too long. Screw you. Bones. Okay, in the demo we could play four char- in a demo, we could play four characters. My first run ever in Termina, I played as the ex-soldier, so let's try to go with that. And of course, since it's a soldier, we're gonna go with Cloud. Oh, wait, what is wrong with that CL? Oh, whatever. There is something that doesn't convince me in this HUD, it seems very different from the current one. Also, the hunger is down there, instead of being up here. It was for sure much more similar to the first game style and... I am- I am clicking shift! We- we cannot dash! Huh? Is it a skill in the Hexen maybe or something? Why can't we dash? Oh no, for real it's a walking simulator at this point, god damn it. You know what, maybe it's better if I relax. Maybe it's better if I relax, we're gonna discover everything at the correct time. I have never understood this minigame honestly, I just spam all the directional keys and I immediately finish it. There we go! Give me your Kassara! And we still have one bullet because I want to try to destroy the gate that opens to the city. Now, the Hall of the New Gods should be a very important room. If it exists, it does. You know, the existence of the Hall of the Gods in the demo is very important in my opinion. It's a great connection between the first and the second game. I know not everyone that played the first game or the second game played the other one, but for those that came back, for sure it's appreciated. Oh, ooh! Is that animation present even in the current ver- Wow, that was cool! Oh my god, this is so slow! <laughs> you know, actually, before even going out of the terrain, there is something I immediately want to try. Oh, I can't sleep with Tanaka- Eh? We are scared of Tanaka? I don't really care about their discussions, honestly. I just want to go- Day one. <gasps> ooh! I prefer day one appearing on the screen instead of being on a white screen, honestly. The thing I want to try now is to immediately go to sleep until night three. And let's look at the Hexen since we are here. Wow, this seems intimidating, honestly, but uh, we know rare skills are trash, so... I wonder if the question mark is because we have to unlock them, or if it is because uh, they just don't want to spoil the name. Or maybe because, you know, they weren't still included in the game. And no, I do not see dash. Unless in this skill tree there is dash, there is no way to run in this game. But here we go, it's time to sleep, and sleep, and sleep. Day two, baby! Day three, only a couple of rests left, and then we see what happens. This should be the last one, I think. Okay. Uh, can I sleep again? Maybe I miscounted? No, I'm pretty sure I didn't miscount. We can... Uh, bro? So the festival of Termina never ends in this demo version? It's still night. I can sleep again? It's still night, even after sleeping again. What? You just can not die? 
in the demo version. <laughs> Did the developer never think that maybe someone was gonna try to do this? <laughs> okay, it was a demo, but still. So if I have to guess, Moon's Court uh, were still not implemented. We can just completely go around without problems. Dogs, uh, dogs, uh, the dogs existed, the dogs existed. Abella is not here, I guess. Uh, Ab Abella, yoohoo! Are you, are, are you here? <gasps> what? So Shagnar exists. Do you hear it? Does this sound exist in Termina, for real? Huh, I've never heard that. And also, that's another reason for which I am kinda scared of making this video in this moment. Because since I know less about Termina rather than the first game, I am very scared that the comments are gonna be filled with people be like, uh, What do you mean, Vipol? Oh, you're so stupid! You never heard that sound playing in the whole game and you think you are the best Fear and Hunger player or something that like you're just a stupid idiot! No, honestly, I have never heard it. Am I just talking to myself in front of a microphone and a screen with an ex-soldier and the Shagnar which is gonna come out of the wall and destroy us? Yes. I am sincerely curious about that sound. Maybe it's because it's very low and I, I just scream when I play. You know, usually when you watch an average stream or just a stream that is not on my channel, there is the potential there are gonna be some silent moments where you can just recollect your thoughts and think carefully about what happens. Instead, my streams are just like, Hello guys, welcome! Today we're gonna kill this stupid pig head! We're gonna use all our attacks to win! We have to start by defeating the left arm because that's able to deal a lot of damage, at least in the current version. You know what I mean? All right, we got points. Zoned. Let's see if the coin flip attack existed also in the demo. We should have some lucky coins. Okay, we should say what was that for two times in a row. And now we should be able to select... Uh, now it's just an infinite dialogue where we can click infinite amount of times what was that. <laughs> and he just continues. Rare take me. That's such a declaration of love. Hmm. Maybe I should double rev up and try to destroy the other arm. So we should be safe. Double the up was able to make me do two attacks. <gasps> Wait a second. What if... Uh, uh, okay, we, we are dead, but... Uh, what if... Uh, okay, let's restart from the beginning. This was just a test, okay? There we go, George. Comment if you know why I called him George. What if I skip the character story? Is there some already present background that they give to us, or... Hey! I skipped the character story! <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> I skipped it! Wait, wait a sec. I am pretty sure I clicked the skip character story, but we still got the character story. All right, second test. Is the characters are gonna block you if you try to kill someone near the terrain thing present yet? Or... Uh, I don't have the option to... I... Don't have the option to attack them. Bro! I'm playing a fear and hunger, not generous and compassionate! I mean, at least we can still look at Abella. Come on, let me kill something! Oh, another test, actually. Is the debug spot I'm thinking about still present here? Let's... It is still present! Okay, maybe you don't know this, but in this point, there is a debug spot where you get the axe and the rusty pipe. And it was present from the demo. That's the part that intrigues me the most. Okay. Oh, finally! Six hits to kill the Vootman with a Luger pistol. Bella, yes! Okay! Oh, she joined my party without even asking. <laughs> if only it was that easy to get a girl. Oh no, I see Tanaka hat. So, so Needles exists! Come here, buddy! Come here! Oh, there he is! Look at him! So beautiful! Yeah, I'm saying this while he's literally dismembering Tanaka, but still. <laughs> Da -da, da -da, da -da. Abella. Okay, there we go. Needles is dead. Easy. They both have the skill run. Both in Fear and Hunger 1 and in Termina, only the main character has run. It's a peculiar change to make it so that only the main character can start running, but I don't really understand why, honestly. You, you know what's funny? I am just walking and there is really nothing to say, but uh, I wanted to underline the fact that... Uh, it's just a walking simulator without dash. The enemies seem slower, though. I'm pretty sure they are much slower than usual. Pretty sure. Our first battle with a villager. And this is the one with the rusty pipe, which I think has a very low amount of HP on the torso. At least in the current version. Let's see. There we go. 
<laughs> Terminator is the most difficult game on planet. Terminator is so difficult. God damn it. I just realized that the characters do not climb the stairs. They just walk on the stairs. <laughs> mm, honestly, the demo version of Termina is a little bit worse than the current version for one simple reason. Let me explain. The map of Termina, in my opinion, is a little bit too much uh, stretched, we may say, in the sense that there is almost nothing in very long corridors, okay? And since in here you cannot dash, it's even tougher to continue, it's even more tedious. So at least the, the actual version improved that part over this. What do you think about this? Do you think as well that Termina is uh, a little bit less dense in terms of stuff present in the room? or no. Since we're officially soon gonna start the Termina era where we, you know, we do tier lists of Termina, how to beat bosses of Termina, challenge run of Termina, you know, that kind of stuff. I am kinda interested to know your opinion about Termina. Oh, and then again, I am not being like, oh, Frappoli is saying that Termina is terrible. No, 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 no. I like Termina, I just prefer the first game over it. What do you think? Alright, so the mayor shouldn't still be here because, okay, there is a Henrik. Wait, there is a Henrik and we have Abella in our party. Okay. Normally that's not possible. Normally if you take Abella, Henrik moon scorches. But I guess there is no real moon scorch in this zone, in this version, so... Wait, how many small keys do I, do I have? I have one small key. <gasps> The small key does not disappear from the inventory! It's a pass part 2 to open all the doors of the game! I, I really hope this was a bug and Miro did not intend to place one single key that is able to trivialize all the doors of the game. Okay, no, it was, uh, it was enough already. <laughs> it was enough already. And we got our guaranteed soul stone. <gasps> Use soul stone! No! What is the purpose of sewing off the heads? I guess we need to go to the new rod circle. I want to I want to understand what is the problem with that. Test number A. Oh! There was already a Grogrov sign in here. Pray Gro Miro completely changed this ritual circle mechanic in the Wait! Uh, let me read the occult grimoire. No, okay, the the book says uh, almost the same stuff, but uh Pray? Okay. Excuse me for a second. Let's try to offer the heads to the new god circle. What are you gonna give to me? Three soul stone shard- Oh! So wait, I need to craft a soul stone? Okay... But like, the soul stone I used is still- It's stuck with the other soul stone, it's not a separate item. I am so confused. But all this sounds fantastic that I have never heard. Wait, if the doors are closed... At, at, at this point, let's do something. Let's start by establishing a save file now that we have some stuff so we don't, we don't have to repeat everything every time, okay? Salmo Snake Rune! Salmo Snake Rune! Sa pick a ah, the, the helmet, right? Hey, when my characters are flashing, look at them! <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? Um, uh, epilepsy warning, if you look too much at uh, Abella's butt, you may have some problems. Wow, what a crazy track! <gasps> Duh! Another vial?! What? There are two vials? One shot those arms. Okay. But, uh, eh, and the other vial disappeared! <laughs> Wait! No, 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 no! The other- did, did you see it as well? I'm not crazy, like, I'm not losing my mind. Like, look, there was a vial here first. I am 1000% sure there was a vial. Let, let, let's pretend it was an, an, an intended mechanic, okay? Like, uh, Orange made it so that when you are low on mind, because we are at uh, 50 mind, it's not even low. Like, when you're low on mind, you start seeing enemies where they don't exist. Which honestly could be a very cool mechanic, in my opinion. Miro, if you're watching, please implement this. Like, imagine, you start going around, at one point you see, I don't know, a Galbro rushing at you. Okay, the reason we came back here is because we want to save and rest to see if the mayor appears. We're gonna check them later. Okay, did the mayor appear at this point, or am I just fantasizing at this point? <gasps> Hello? We saved! Even if we die, we can just retry again. It works in the normal version of the game, so in the demo it works for sure. No, Abella! Eh, uh, no. Um, reset. There we go, finally, okay. 
I may have died one more time than the ones needed. But it should be finally over. We lost an arm on George, but uh, tch, it's Termina. We don't really care about losing limbs. So, like, we can recover them an infinite amount of time, so almost. There we go. And we did not get the soul of Henrik, which is the the Master Chef soul. I don't remember the name. No, we can't even interact with him. I want to loot him. Ah, whatever. I guess it wasn't thought for you to be able to do that. But. Now we are gonna go to sleep again, because I want to see if Berkeley says that there are 12 contestants remaining. We should be 13, because uh, Tanaka died. So, since uh, Henrik now is supposed to be dead, we should be 12. 12? Okay, no, okay. That, that's Henrik, it's confirmed, confirmed. But we still don't have a... Do I... <gasps> no! Again! Again! Ah, uh, the first game did not teach anything to me, bro. Okay, do, do you do you see this, um, this uh, red color that appears while I move the cursor? That's because the cursor is our character, okay? The character is moving on this grid. And the more you move, the more, normally, in RPG Maker, you take damage from dots like bleeding. The developer forgot to disable the possibility to take damage from dots here for some reason. God damn it. So broken. And they say the first game is more broken than the second. Alright, I'm gonna sew off my other arm because I don't really have a... Eh? Uh... Really? I clicked the so sew off for my arm? And now we are just in a black screen. I I am clicking the buttons, but uh, no, okay. Oh, we can rest. Uh, hey, I cannot open the menu. <gasps> no, it's the same bug of the first game. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe if we rest, the bug go. Okay, we have our two hands back again for some reason. But maybe now we can reopen the menu again, please. Oh, hello, Marina. <laughs> what is up? We can open the menu again. Our arm was not cut off from the bone, so... Wh what in tarnation? Hello, Marina! The sleepy one, we meet again. Kidnapped? Lock the room? We already killed the mayor! What do you mean, kidnapped? I don't understand what is working anymore. I don't understand which, which events are supposed to go in a certain way and which aren't. But maybe that's part of the charm of this game, you know? Okay, my infection is looking bad, so if I don't sew off this arm, we are gonna die. Can I sew it off now? Oh, oh, oops. Can I... Can I sew it off? Oh. Ah, fantastic. Now now if I click the bone so just nothing happens. <laughs> Do you want to use the bone so? Nah, 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 you, you don't want to. Trust me, you prefer to die than to have to continue this stupid game. God. <laughs> The game does not want us to win, the game wants us to die because of the infection. There is no other way around it. The game straight up wants us to die because of the infection. Then goodbye. <laughs> you died because of your infected one. I tried to heal it! I <laughs> ah. Let's try to use 100% of our brain. Since Marina spawns after we sleep sometimes, let's sleep, let's take Marina, and afterwards we kill the mayor. It's funny how she mentions she's locked here when you can clearly see the door opened down there. Or wait, even more than 100% of our brain, let's use the 2000% of our brain. We don't need to kill him, we just wanted to check before if he was effectively Henrik. Let's get back on track. The next step is to take the other key, which should be in the bunk, if I remember correctly. <laughs> you you know what's funny? With the with the with the speed we walk with uh, being so slow, hunger is actually starting to be a problem. Okay, we are exploring a little bit too much, honestly. But still, maybe if in the actual game they double the speed at which hunger gets depleted, maybe it would be a fantastic idea to balance. And there we go, Eagle Bresky is ours. And uh, I guess the telescope. You don't quite understand what this is. Looks like some information cables. Uh, yeah, I guess the ending A does not exist at all in this game mode. Okay, at least now we can access the city. But first, let me actually check if we can use the trench gun to be able to open it. We should have one ammunition. And let's try. 
that was very anticlimactic. How far can we even go into the game? Like, we, we cannot kill contestants, or at least, you know, we cannot kill some contestants. Maybe they're gonna be moon scorched automatically. Go for the head, go for the head. Boom, easy. Are they gonna go back up if we don't touch them? Let me, let me test, let me cook. Oh, that, that, that. <laughs> okay, I cooked enough, I cooked enough, definitely. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, so long, thanks for the help. There is no death mask, by the way. Now that I think about it, why didn't we go through the sewers? We had a small key. Wait, do the sewers even exist? Let's just double check down here to be sure that there is no- Hey, there is the dead crow? And there is no entrance to the sewers, but uh, do you want to tell me we can fight Chambara in this version? Oh, now that, now that we are here, let me check if we still have the view of Lagarde, you know. It wasn't present in the intro scene, but uh, there it is! There it is! Come on! Okay! Maybe this means... <gasps> Maybe this means we can access the city. Uh, hey. No! No, no, no! <laughs> no! You are badly hurt by the shot. Oh, that dealt so much damage. Allow me to do something, okay? You see, guys, I have a little magic in here. It is called knock leaping. There is no access to this place normally through here. But let's see if we can go above. Tch. <laughs> no. I guess the tower doesn't exist, unfortunately. But uh, expected, to be honest, because, you, you know, it's a demo. And it's not like the actual demo of AAA games, uh, in which the demo is just a cut-off version of the actual product. This was just the content already released of the game. But at least we can greet our friend uh, uh, Rancid, I think it's called. And then we can also check for the effigies... Where is Rancid? I mean, if I have to guess, Rancid doesn't exist as well. Hello, Samari! Wait! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, let's go! Dead crow it is! Oh, there we go. Hello? Hmm. Long time no see, buddy. Gotta be honest, I fought this enemy only once. And I don't even remember his moveset. So I guess we're just gonna... Oonga Boonga. And hope it works. 15 damage with Pamel! Oh, and now the chains appear. Can we kill one arm at least? Okay. Uh, goodbye, Marina. You are a good soldier, at least. You're gonna be very necessary towards our victory. Maybe I should have just gone for the torso. Ah, uh, maybe I should have just gone for the torso. I, I think I messed this one up. <laughs> you got my ass. You're even easier than in the first game. Let's just double rev up. And it should be over. There we go. Goodbye, idiot. Church keys and the sewer keys. Sewer keys. A set of dirty and rusty keys, one of these keys got carved text saying sewers. But uh, are the sewers present or not? <gasps> there it is! We have an entrance to the sewers, but uh, for what purpose? No! 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 Alright! No! <laughs> So initially the sewers wasn't just a way to connect zones, probably. Maybe initially the sewers were a way to access other zones. Completely new. I don't have any release dates for the full game because I'm notoriously bad at making schedules. <laughs> That's very funny because the update that has to come out has been advertised for like one year at this point. December 2020 release, but who knows, anything can happen. <laughs> I love this developer. See you later, and thanks again for playing and all the support. Aww. Don't give me a game over, I need to explore! I need to explore! Ah! I guess the last part we didn't explore is on the left side of this road. Maybe there is Pocket Cat. Please tell me- Yes, there is! Oh, he doesn't even offer anything for the contestants' heads because I guess, you know, you weren't supposed to fight contestants in the demo. No! It's already blocked. Ah! I guess that's pretty much everything in that case, like... We explored the majority of the zones. It seems kinda consistent with the current version. There are more bugs, of course, but because, you know, it's just a demo from a single developer. Honestly, if we compare the Fear and Hunger 1 demo to this demo, this one seems much more uh, complete. The difference between Fear and Hunger 1 demo and the actual game is incredible. The difference between this one and the actual game is not so big. But I am still interested to see what are these question mark skills. So you know what? 
Let's take a little look into the code, are you ready? And I would love to give you some secret information only known from data miners, but unfortunately, you see, this is an actual skill present, which is uh, Trapcraft, for example. But if you go on the other skill trees, those with question marks, there is really nothing. So they were just a teaser to say that there is more to come, potentially. And I guess for today, that's pretty much it. Did you like this little jump into the past, or this first view into the past in case you weren't present at the time of the demo, like me, for example? Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Also, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, because that's gonna help me a lot. But for now, I do not want to end the video before I check if Dan is actually present as a party member in here. Just give me a second. There he is! There he is! Can we get him? Can we get him, please? All right. So, I was for Apollo 94. And I will see you next time.